Hello, it's Parm King, the DM for Legends of Barovia, a Christmas draw campaign. And today is my second video. Um, please subscribe to my channel to get updates on my videos. Um, I have been cranking out two videos a day for the last five days. Um, this is my second video for today. So please like my channel if it's not for anything other than my tenacious stamina. Um, my second video of the day actually comes from the first video I made about the roll tables. Um, one of the things that we were experimenting on with um, Paul Watson, who was helping me yesterday, was we figured out something we could do with HTML tags uh, and HTML actually in the roll table and pulling in some interesting thing in the roll table. Traditionally, people are using HTML just to bold, use HTML code to bold things and underline them. We're gonna do something a little bit crazy and wacky and different. So. What's really nice about the Foundry system is we can pull information from the web right into the game real time. And I already did that. Uh, and something you may already know how to do, but I'll just show you. This is the real simple thing. In Curse of Strahd, for instance, and I'll show you this under an item. Um, let me see items here. In Curse of Strahd, we have uh, an item called Strahd's Tomb. Now, Wizard of the Coast has done a phenomenal job with their campaign book. D&D uh, &D Beyond has all the information online. But here's my problem. I'm DMing this game. I'm in one country. I have a player in Germany, a player in Egypt, a player in London, a player in Ireland, and a player in Canada. We're not sitting around the table, and, and it's really hard for you to get these really nice handouts and hand them around the table. How can you create these really nice theatrical handouts that only add more immersion and color to the game and are quite important to the game on an online system. Well, Foundry allows you to do that. Um, and Foundry's made it really simple. So I created a item, which was a loot item, which is the book, which I downloaded the picture from Curse of Strahd, but I really wanted to get that text. Now, I'm a member of D&D uh, Beyond and I bought the source to Curse of Strahd. Highly recommend D&D &D Beyond if you do have Foundry. And they have at the back, they have this appendix with these handouts in it. And if we were playing at a table, I would probably run to like some photocopy store and copy these on some nice parchment looking paper and hand them out. And it really creates a, a really nice experience for the players, but I can't do that. And I, but I can do it in Foundry. So when I go back here, you can click on this, it opens up an image. And one of the things you can do is you right click, open the image into a new tab. And now I've got the image in the new tab. What I do in Curse of Strahd's Tomb is you click on the little icon on the right that opens up the kind of the word processing slash HTML editor. We're all familiar with this. We've seen this in you know everything from like Reddit and all kinds of forms and posts where you can link stuff and other links in there. Well, we can do this actually in the Curse of in, in the the book itself. So let me just go here to an empty space. And I'll show you what I did here. So I got a piece of, I got some space here. I click on the picture icon. It asks me for my source. I go to the picture of the Curse of Strahd tomb. I, and I copy the link above and I just put it in here in the source and hit save. And guess what? There it is. Uh, Foundry took it one step further, made it really easy. You can grab these corners and just resize it, make it bigger if you want. And now you've got the Curse of Strahd tomb right there in there, and the, the players can read this at their leisure. Well, what's really amazing is we can do this in the table. So we were experimenting yesterday as we were building this potion, potion, the elixir of, I forget what it's called, elixir of shits and giggles. I made another video of it. It's, it's pretty cool. Well, I thought it was pretty cool. Anyway, we can do this right inside the table itself. So I'm going to do one right on the fly right now for you, and let's try one out. So I'm going to go to my tables. I'm going to create a brand new table, and we are going to call this the random magic table. Random magic table. Random magic magic spell spell table. Magic magic spells. And what we want to do, now we could easily, as I showed in the last video, 
have this link to items. But what I want to do in this video is demonstrate is link it to pictures and information from the internet and pull it in. So I'm going to click a result here and it's going to bring up a text and we're going to use some HTML code in here that is not normally used in a lot of the, the Reddit or the other Foundry things. But And I'll link this in the bottom. I'll put the description in the bottom. So we're going to type in here um, greater than IMG, which is image, SRC uh, equals colon. And we're going to go to the internet right now and type in uh, magic spells. And I'm going to click on image. And we are going to look for some magic spells. Let's see if we got a good magic spell here. Full body blessing. Past life spell. Oh, here we go. Power spell. Let's do that one. So we got the power spell. I'm going to hit view. And the power spell pops up on my screen. I'm going to control copy, just like I did before, the entire HTML link. And I'm going to go to the Curse of Stride. And right after the quote, I'm going to put it right in there. I'm going to close the quotes. And now I'm going to put another command in there. Now, remember the chat window where we're making this is about a little over 200 pixels wide. And so we want to limit that there. Now, I don't know exactly the, di the dimensions of this image. And I don't know the ratio. So I'm just going to make it 200 pixels by 200 pixels. So it's quote. We're going to put in... Um, style equals in this command in here is telling us what the size is so we're going to put in uh, width colon 200 px for pixels semicolon and we're going to make the height uh, colon 200 oh, 200 px and then close the quotes and i'm going to close this off and that should stay in there okay let's see boom uh, let's give a shot to see if this works. So we've got our chat window. I'm going to make the roll formula. I'm going to force a roll, make this a 1D1. So I'm only going to get one answer and see if our spell comes up. Boom. Right there in the window, we've pulled in a picture of this spell. I mean, how cool is that? Let's put another one in there. I'm going to show you two other quick things. I'm going to put another one of those in there. So to make this easier for me, I'm going to just copy this entire line, copy, and I'm going to hit paste. And I am going to, let's look up another magic spell. What else do you guys want? Uh, depression Banishing Candle Spell. Uh, no Harry Potter stuff, please. Okay, Money Drawing Spell. There was one up here I saw that looked kind of fun. Uh, oh, there we go. The moon spell for money. Money, honey, moon spell. Okay. I think it's going to be a full moon tonight. I have to double check. Uh, okay, so I'm going to copy and paste that. What I'm going to do back here is I'm just going to take that HTML that I had from the previous spell. I'm just going to delete it just so you can see it's what the entire code looks like without the HTML in there. Again, I'm going to put a link in the description so you can go ahead and use this code in your own uh, table. I'm going to hit uh, paste, control V, and we got the magic spell, book spell in there, and I'm going to hit update. And we're going to hit roll. And let's see. Oh, I'm going to put a uh, two in there. So we get a number two. And we're going to roll. And boom, now I've got the money spell. Now I'm going to click off the roll to chat. One of the things I showed in the last video, I'll put it in this t this video too, is um, uh, Paul Watson showed me that I can change this dice here so I can get rid of the, uh, the dice. Kind of looks, you know, add some more flavor to, to it. I'll show you how to do that. As long as it's text, you can click on the, uh, the dice and um, put in an image there. So we're going to go to images, and I'm just going to pick out an image, an item. Um, let's put in... Uh, a leather pouch. I don't have a spell scroll. It'd be kind of cool if it's a spell scroll. So you can see that there. And I'm going to put on this one to make something different. They don't have to be the same. Um, let's do a different one. Images. 
image items and I'll put ooh the dragon eye in that one for whatever silly reason so now when I roll this you're gonna see the image and it's gonna have the pouch, leather pouch for this one and if I roll again if I get the first one I'm gonna get the dragon eye um, we can put some flavor text in here as well um, magic spells appear here before you voila magic spells appear for you it's the power spell with a dragon eye now i mentioned this before in my previous video if you haven't seen it you can have multiple results for one number and you can pull in an item you can pull in some more flavor text i'm going to just throw an item in here let's just say uh, we're going to add another result so let's say just say if you get the the uh the power spell you're also going to get an item you're going to get an entity it's going to be an item and we are going to give you a we're going to give you strahd's tomb wow you're going to get a spell and strahd's tomb i mean how cool that is in fact you could probably do this in strahd where you have multiple you have these multiple treasures you're trying to look for you could you could just make every location completely random and when they get there you just have a draw that strahd's treasure random generator and even the dungeon master doesn't know what you're going to get that would be kind of crazy okay so we're going to put this in here and we want this to pop up whenever a one comes up so when a one comes up you're going to get the dragon eye with the power spell and strahd's tomb that's what should happen that's what i think is going to happen so let's go ahead and roll this there you go you got strahd's tomb and you got the power spell i'm just going to delete this and give it another shot to see if it works oh my god there we go so look you got some html code you can throw in your in your uh roll uh, roll tables you've figured out how to put some images in there you can do two things for one roll you can force rolls by the way the roll formula it's not dice it is actually um, a uh, random number generator. If you have dice so nice, which I do, and you want to actually see dice on the table, you have to turn this uh, 1D into one of the dice, like a, a 1D4, 1D6, 1D10, uh, 1D20. I'm going to do a 1D4 and just make this one down here uh, 3 through 4 category. Okay, and so uh, we'll go ahead and roll again so you can see the dice come across the board. There we go, we got the dice. So you can just start rolling and just have all these dice pop on the board and have a good time with your with your table your dice so nice and a bunch of stuff this is parm king signing off this is my second video of the day i will not most likely not be doing a video tomorrow because tomorrow is our campaign it is at 6 p.m utc time on thursday we'll be broadcasting live on youtube legends of Bar barovia so i probably won't be able to get a video out because i got to do some more prep haven't finished all my prep most of it's done for tomorrow's session thanks again please like this video subscribe to my channel it's palm king signing off and may all your rolls be critical 20s and if they're a critical one make sure you roll from the critical failure table now i've taken a lot of heat from this already i was chatting with some people online they don't really like the critical failure tables. But I said, you can include it. You just don't have to physically punish them, your characters. You can actually have funny comments or jokes, like you soil your pants or you piss your trousers or um, something silly happens, right? You can make it fun. You don't have to make it punishing. I mean, I guess some people are just a little bit more uptight than I am. Anyway, Parm King signing off. Have a good one.